Hello, I'm Steve Mepstead, and in part two of my interview with Philip Castle, we look at the early development for the poster of A Clockwork Orange, and how it was like to liaise with Stanley Kubrick. First of all, though, we delve back into the box that Philip has. Just looking at this box, we s there seems to be some early Clockwork Orange sketches here, I think. Hand for the Clockwork Orange. Ah! <laughs> That's the only artwork that exists, or at least... Is, is a, a show, a showing. Really? Um, yeah, all my artworks are gone. This is, just, uh, this is what I took into the first showing. I went up to the, up to his house. Right. They called the Chantry, I remember. Yes. And uh, he had a, like a viewing theatre. Yeah. And it was a, it was a rough cut. There was not there was any sound. Yes. I think well, there must have been some sound. It, 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 there were no titles and everything. Right. And I would, I had this on my knee, and I, I sketched things in the in here. Yeah. Pertaining to the the film, or, or, or like this. That's, yeah. And, um, and there we are. Yeah. So I was, I, so these are my first ideas as to how it might come out. Right. But, you know, these Sculpture. these are done in the dark, of course. Wow. In, in the movie. I was obviously struck by the, the moon bits. Yes. Right. So, so I, would, I would be sketching these things, and then I, I would go home and draw on top of the sketch. Yeah. And make it a bit more... And develop. Uh, yeah, but... Uh, uh, and so that was your, your first ever sketchbook. The teeth, is the, that's such an effective image, isn't it? Yeah. That one, I love the triangles going in. Yeah. In. yeah. And there's Alex, of course. Yeah. yeah. Did you meet McDowell? I think... I, did, I don't know if I have met him. I've seen mm. him on many occasions. I don't think we've ever act, actually had a formal introduction. Mm. He's, he's a great friend of Mike Kaplan. Mm. They're, they're buddies. But we've never been in the right place at the same time, so I can't right. actually say I've met him yet. Right. I mean, we're even from... We're both Yorkshire. Yeah. And uh, age is close. Magazine. That's brilliant. <laughs> Nothing to do with me, of course, but it, it, it was lovely the way they re, they reproduced the film beautifully inside. Um, I showed it to Stan. I don't think he'd seen it. Did, did he like it? That's yeah. That is exactly. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's like, the, the Trump looks exactly like the Trump. <laughs> A clockwork lemon. This is this is the evening sun of the of the day. Yeah. The, the, you know, so that's the actual newspaper. Yeah, there. yeah. I see paper where Philip has drawn the Clockwork Orange logo, the typeface, uh, in different languages, obviously for different territories: Spanish, Italian. It's amazing that so little of this has actually been seen. Absolutely no interest or reason to to show it. But anyway, I was, I was going, going there and back with these drawings. So you didn't fax things to him? You, you'd actually go no, around and visit no, no, him? No, I would visit. I, would visit. I like to actually put it in front of him and discuss it. Mm. And, I don't mind. and it was a big deal for me and uh, mm. I wanted to, not to, to blow it. Makes sense. And, uh, but it, I wouldn't even, even, you know, for any client I would do that. Because that was, you know, I like that. Because otherwise you're stuck in one room, working away, your eyes are going. It's great to just get in the car and drive over into the country and, and, and take your work with you. And, and get oohs and ahs at the other end and, and uh, you know, that's part of a wonderful process. And if, if, if in fact were taken away, it would be, it would, it would just be like a, a rat on a treadmill sort of thing. Because so, it's very boring doing this work and it, it's the the highs are getting the job in the first place designing it is terrific and finishing it off is terrific when you've just got it as you want it but the process in between is long-winded and laborious and 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 uh, it takes some quite a long time and you, you know you actually can't do anything else you just you know work most of the night and up again in the morning, get on with it again. You know, it, it, so I don't miss all that deadline business. Um, 
I like not having it. <laughs> um, Philip, occasionally you'll see the name Bill Gold attached to the design credits for A Clockwork Orange. Now, what can you tell me about that? And somehow uh, Bill Gold got muscled in on it and started putting his name on it, and which is a bone of contention here because Bill Gold just recently, in about this year, I think, earlier this year, had a show of his fine posters, and, you know, he's, he's been involved in, in some terrific posters, and then he had an exhibition of these posters. <clears throat> and, but he can't talk about it as part of his, which he had actually nothing to do with. Nothing to do with it. And, and Mike Kaplan was very mad about it. And he's, he he um, wrote letters to anybody who had published it as a, as a well, of Bill Gold's works. But wouldn't your copyright have been all over it? Uh, well, Bill Gold was obviously in charge of the studio that were doing the posters and would be putting the credits and the titling and, and everything on yeah. it. And they altered my lettering. I did the lettering and they, they made a little alteration to it. Which, which so, yeah. Rankled, rattled me at the time, you know. But I, you know, I, I, well, I had no power. What did I know? Often that's a way of getting around um, copyright to to to, re, to to reinvent. Well, this is it. it they, 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 they would put dots where they should, where I had put somewhere else. Or um, no, that was mine. That would have been my one. Their one was would have been different. You see, the E at the end of, of, is, is blocked. Made that hole in there. They put, they put a bit of the K there. So they've slightly changed your yeah, and that rounded would, that would lettering. Have been, that would have been Bill Gold's entry into the into the process. But it, I mean, it's fair. It's fair enough. But it, only, it was only used on the American and English. Right. All the others were mine, which I knocked out right. for myself. You know, yeah. Well, you can see my E is very distinct. Yes. E. Um, Look at the R. Yeah, that's right. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Because you've flattened off the R and the N. Yeah. And they've made them into um, sensory. I mean, I'd been doing that sort of, sort of blocking in lettering. Yes. And it was, if anything, it was it was based on uh, Milton and Glaser. Um, Amazing. But, but not that I would consciously, you know, c copy Milton and Glaser. But... but I just it was just easy to do it. Yes. And when I did this post, I I, I put that in on the in the in the album, mm. and uh, it stuck. But it, it was quite a complete fluke. I never thought of myself as a letterer, and so it's. Uh, did it's, you enjoy it, the lettering? Well, it's meticulous, isn't it? Mm. This isn't. This is much more. Um, it's sort of out of the world. It could. It, it, Futuristic in, in a way, mm. just because it's it's not beautifully finished type. Mm. Um, it has it's got a certain drawn quality to it, even mm. though even though it's cleaned up. Yes. Um, but you know, it, it just fits the, the movie. I think. Yes. He sort of sent his notes to me that way there. Oh, right. Mm. How about nutty ideas? <laughs> nutty ideas, is that what he's oh, that's saying? The, that's the original, that's, the, that's his note. Oh, uh, well. I, with, with Clockwork Orange, he, he wanted the the bowler hat was a kind of a wrong angle for him. And he wanted that. And so that's why they sent me the hat. Mm. And um, <clears throat> to get that that curve correct mm. uh, and that was about oh, the only thing that they that they had any objection to you know once they once they agreed he and Mike Kaplan and I, I think it was, I think it was probably Julian Senior from Warner Brothers mm. they were they were there when I took the the drawing the drawing up there and they and they they went for it you know without any you know, Sully would have had the last word, obviously. Um, and then I, I just did it, and it worked. No, no more. Even though I, you know, I'd done 
all those sketches in the, in the in this drawing pad. Um, it just worked out. Yes. Yeah.